March 26th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, John chapter 17 of the New Testament. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he looked upward to heaven and said, Father, the time has come. Glorify your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you have given him authority over all humanity, so that he may give eternal life to everyone you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I glorified you on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me at your side with the glory I had with you before the world was created. I have revealed your name to the men you gave me out of the world. They belong to you. And you gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Now they understand that everything you have given me comes from you, because I have given them the words you have given me. They accepted them and really understand that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I am praying on behalf of them. I am not praying on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those you have given me, because they belong to you. Everything I have belongs to you, and everything you have belongs to me, and I have been glorified by them. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them safe in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I kept them safe and watched over them in your name that you have given me. Not one of them was lost except the one destined for destruction so that the scripture could be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I am saying these things in the world, so they may experience my joy completed in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Set them apart in the truth. Your word is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I set myself apart on their behalf, so that they too may be truly set apart. I am not praying only on their behalf, but also on behalf of those who believe in me through their testimony, that they will all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I am you. I pray that they will be in us so that the world will believe that you sent me. The glory you gave to me I have given to them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be completely one, so that the world will know that you sent me, and you have loved them just as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they can see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, even if the world does not know you, I know you, and these men know that you sent me. I made known your name to them, and I will continue to make it known, so that the love you have loved me with may be in them, and I may be in them. God, chapter 17 in John is... Is such a powerful prayer to you to from Jesus to his father and when he gets to verse 20 I am NOT praying only on their behalf but also on behalf of those who believe in me through their testimony truly overwhelms me that means me that means all the children all the children that are yours from the past currently in the future that you knew them before the world even started. And to have Jesus pray for us, knowing that we would come to know you through the testimony of those original 12 slash 11, <laughs> that we would be your children, that we would be set apart to glorify you just as your son did. God, I know that I don't deserve anything you give me. 
There are many days that I question what you have given me. But even that seems a little bit arrogant because you are God. You reign sovereign over everything and you can do anything that you want. You can shower blessings on your people. You can discipline them. And you can also set aside people such as Judas for destruction to be used in your plan. You are God. You reign supreme. Thank you for including me back before the worlds were made. Thank you for my forgiveness and for my grace and for my mercy that you give me. Thank you for being strong with me and strict with me and providing me discipline. Thank you for your son and his crucifixion. It seems so odd to be praying thankfulness for somebody's murder. But I also know that that's part of your glorification process as talked about here in John 17. God, today I just stand in wonderment of you your Son, the Holy Spirit that lives within me. True wonderment that you would love somebody that much. To give them everything. To give them everything. In your Son's name we pray. Amen.